Church burnings in France, ladies and gentlemen. A crisis is going on in Europe, and we're going to talk about it today on the report from Tiger Mountain because someone needs to. This is a subject that's getting little attention, and we're going to give it some today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Church burnings in France, ladies and gentlemen. Recently, uh, a major church, one of the most beautiful churches in France, the church at, at Nantes, was, was burned. Um, obviously, uh, a lot of the church is stone, so only the wood part of the church burned, mainly around the, uh, um, what's it called, the organ uh, area. But, um, you know, this is one of the most beautiful churches, if not in France, in the world. One of the most beautiful Christian churches. It took something like six or seven hundred years to... Um, to um, what you call build, um, you know, in, back in the middle e medieval era, and obviously this this comes on the heels of Notre Dame um, um, burning down. Now the one in Nantes, it's been admitted that an immigrant burned it down, and that um, uh, I think it was a Somalian or Sudanese immigrant uh, he burned it down, and um, so it was arson. It's been admitted, but the one in Notre Dame has not been admitted. I mean, the first thing I saw when I saw Notre Dame burning was um, that it was. Definitely been deliberately burnt down. I mean, obviously, I thought well, a couple of Muslims have got in there. I mean, I know they were renovating, so maybe one of the two of them had gone to work there and realized there was a lot of paint thinner around or something and threw it all over the wood part of the building and then lit a match. It's not really that hard to do if you had access there, if you're working there, you had a pass, or I don't know, you knew how to get in there or something. So um, I believe that Notre Dame was definitely um, deliberately lit as well. And of course, that was covered up. Why didn't I mean, I remember when Notre Dame was burning, why? did uh, a media announce, before anyone could do an arson investigation, they announced, oh, definitely not, it's definitely not arson. I'll tell you why, because all the Cathedral of Notre Dame is a symbol of um, worldwide Christianity. And it's also a huge symbol um, for French uh, people. And people were singing these beautiful kind of Christian hymns in, uh, at the front of Notre Dame as it was burning. I mean, people all over the world of any faith were, were completely um, devastated by the burning of this church because it's, it's an incredible landmark of Christianity. And, um, you know, the reason they put out the it wasn't arson story because it would have been a pogrom, you know what I mean? Like if they if they had announced that night that it was, I don't know, Muslim or whatever, I mean, people literally would have dug up the weapons from the French fucking resistance and there would have been something horrible that happened that week. So in a way, the government almost had to put out that story and they did put out that story. They put out that story within 12 hours or well, the building was still burning. So I don't know how they didn't ask an investigation within 12 hours. So you can tell that's fucking bullshit. So, you know, someone is, and, and there had been something like 1,500 to 1,700 church burnings in France and there've been even more all across Europe. So this is a, an organized attack um, upon Christianity. And obviously it's coming from uh, Islamic immigration. I mean, it could be coming from a couple other sources as well that are connected to the globalists, but it's clearly mainly from uh, Islamic immigration because, I mean, basically Islamic immigration to, to France, it's an invasion. I mean, for, for centuries, Persia, I mean, which is, you know, like all these um, Muslim countries, they've wanted Europe for, I don't know how long, 1500 years they've wanted Europe. They've been trying to invade it. And, you know, we've always repelled them. We've repelled them, you know, around Greece. We've repelled them. Like back to ancient Greece for being repelling two and a half thousand years ago. But with mass immigration, straight in, straight in. And they send in, and who's coming in? It's all young men. It's all young men who are like soldier age. Where are the women and children? I don't know. They're coming later or they're going to, you know, repopulate their own way. So it's an invading army that's been sent into France. It's asymmetrical warfare. And what are they doing instantly? They're burning down the churches because they want mosques there. That's what's going on. And it's truly terrible. You should watch a show by a guy by the name of Kenneth Clark. He's one of the great um, English art historians. It's called Civilization. And I'm, I swear that the globalists uh, and whoever's behind these church burnings, um, some element of the Muslim world, has seen this show. Because in the first two or three episodes of Civilization, he talks about um, the, the Cathedral at Notre Dame as being a symbol of civilization, as being an almost ultimate symbol of civilization. And the church at Nantes is really focused on in like I think the second or third episode of Civilization as one of the most beautiful churches in the world. And they've been destroyed because we are under attack in Western civilization, in asymmetrical warfare. And make no mistake, this is what's going on. There is an attack upon Christianity and there is an attack um, upon Western civilization. And it's terrible. And I wanted to bring it up and point it all out to you today on the report from Pokemon.